O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's make a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you, you are right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 169, NASDAQ up 103, S&P's off 31. Gold, gold contract up $8.60 trading at 2015 an ounce. You get silver flat, $25.54 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 87, trading $77.29 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year note. Up 14 ticks, trading at 114.20. The 30-year up 19 ticks at 130.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar trading down 107 at 101.860. The Euro at 109, the Yen at 134, and the British Pound at 124 to 1 US Dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. Let me get this. Sorry about this, folks. One second. Let me get these charts up. Where are you, man? Tiger TV. There we go. Tiger TV. That. There we go. So let's go take a look at the S&P first. What do we have? We go look at the futures. We bring these futures up when we're just doing the update there. You know, this, this market here wants to break out its lows right now. So this is going to get pretty intriguing because it could be a nice ABC structure down. So, so what you have, you have here, here, you can see, you know, you know bottom, line, bottom line, you came up to the highs of yesterday, you filled the gap the inside the spy, the but the, the futures don't have a gap, of course. Of course. Bottom, bottom line is that, that we are we at, let's see, see, you're at nine, you're at nine minutes. minutes. Well, well, it's going to, yeah, yeah, it's going to need a little more volume. volume. You're at nine, nine minutes, minutes in order to get an ABC structure down. The number you'd be looking for, well, it would be looking for, it's 41, 41, 45, 50. We're at 40. 146.25 right now. Um, it doesn't look to me like it's going to have the, the volume on a 10 minute to break it. Well, I get 309 right now. So you, you need 54,000 contracts, and thus far you only get 39. So when you see something like this, what very well will happen is that you will go back and forth for a few minutes because to see this long ranging bar, folks, we had the long ranging bar that someone sold into this in a monster way. Um, at 61,000, they'll, do, they'll it do it again. That's the bottom. That's how. That's how this normally works. It normally just doesn't go. Normally not. It's a one-trick pony. That's that's my point. Um, you know, when you get a monster that's out there selling, they know exactly what they're doing, and say, okay, I got to break this down. And if it does get broken down, the next level here. Let's see. So that's interesting. You can't even go back. No, let's see. Nine days. I'll bring it. There we go. So, we take a look at this. Uh, this would be a big level to break here. Because we've been, we've been hanging out here, man. Your next level, you have, what, that? 41.39. Yeah, that, that's, not, that's not enough. You'll go all the way down to the end. you go to 41.12. This, if this breaks, this, this will be 41.12. It'd be pretty easy to get there, too. We go with the we NQs, the we NQs, take a look at the NQs, NQs out here. here. What we have with the NQs. Oh, this is interesting. The NQs are stronger. The, NQ, the NQs, uh, bottom line, they've, they've, they've come down, but not like the S&P, man. Yeah, I mean, the NQs would still have to break the uh, 13046 in order to get traction on the way down. And that's just, that was, that was that's today's uh, low. That's how we went topside, you know. So we'll see how that shakes out. Gold, we look at the gold contract out here. We have with the gold contract. Gold contract right now, trading up $8.60. You get 156,000 uh, contracts traded. And you're going to need a lot more than that, man. That's the bottom line. Is that this gold to me, you know, what we did yesterday, 
You came down and you rejected lower price, but we had volume out there of 211,000 contracts. So that's going to get back down there to test that area. If we go into the Treasury market, we take a look at the Treasury market. What do we have inside the Treasury market? This wants higher price, lower yield. So the Treasuries, let's pull this out a little and see what kind of retracement we just did. So the Treasuries did just over 0.382 retracement from, from the lows to the highs, starting to go higher again. That's saying the Treasuries want higher price, lower yield. And then if we get our heads wrapped around the dollar, the dollar saved itself again off of these lows. You know, they, the, the dollar hit uh, 101, 632 today. It's a couple hundred bucks above that, uh, points above that rather, um, ticks above that. Not really a lot of action there, but what I suspect, which I said at the beginning of the three o'clock hour on that update, I think would happen here is that, you know, it's so wild, folks, okay? Markets pay attention till they don't pay attention. And then they don't pay attention till they pay attention. And what had happened is that I'm coming out of my car and I'm listening to this interview and simultaneously when I get back, up in the elevator, the market, the market is, tanking, is tanking, and simultaneously, and, simultaneously, and what that was about was the, the interview is about the debt ceiling. Um, and, you know, listen, plenty of folks are saying on a continual basis that, you know, this could be a problem. The difference was this, the senator that they were interviewing, he, what he was talking about is that, hey, listen, he had wished, the Democratic senator, he had wished that they had did it on October when there was a lame duck session so that the Democrats ruled everything. They could have done the, the debt ceiling ex expansion. They didn't do it. Bottom line, now there's going to be a fight, right? And then they asked him, like, what do you think the probabilities are? Well, the probabilities, he, he said, well, the probabilities that we'll get it done is just a little over 50%. It's like, okay. And then simultaneously, you had BlackRock come out saying that, that they didn't think that people were taking this um, seriously. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, it, you know, we know it's selling. And we also know that this is the place that if the market's going to fail, this is where it was going to fail. You know, because you, you've come up to the, to the highs of this consolidation. Now, the danger thing is that, you know, you didn't make the high. It's, you know, it, 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 it's rounding out. But, you know, you get that high volume low. So the consolidation is still in place. And, you know, there's so many folks that are saying that, hey, man, I think it's, you know, that's the top of the range. Well, guess what? It's probably a self-fulfilling deal right at this particular point. Stay right there, folks. Good night, man. Mr. Tim Wood coming up. And then after Tim, we're going to have uh, Fred Ernest, the CEO of Vista Gold, coming up. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.